hello friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial session we are going to set up python inside the intellij idea community edition this tutorial going to be the detailed session okay so let's understand what kind of python support we get in the intellij idea so basically intellij idea provides the following features to help you work with the python like dedicated module type ability to configure the interpreters Python console, run debug configuration for Python and Python remote debugging consists code insight, code inspection, intention actions, code completion, resolve, built-in code formatter and separate set of Python code style settings and many more. Among this, we have the testing frameworks as well and the UML class diagram for the Python classes. So these are the features available here in the IntelliJ IDEA for the Python. Okay. So first we will see this important note because we are going to set up the Python in IntelliJ IDEA. So we must know what are the supported version of the Python available. So here we have Python 2 version 2.7 and the Python 3 from version 3.6 up to 3.12 is compatible with the IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, that's great. Let's look into the prerequisites for this tutorial. Before going to start working with the Python, we need the Python SDK and that must be installed on our machine. Then we need one small Python plugin that needs to be installed inside the IntelliJ IDEA. There's one important note. A Python SDK can be specified as a Python interpreter for Python project. So first we need to download and install the Python. Then we will configure at least one Python SDK to run our program. There are few steps that we are going to follow in this installation and config procedure. Okay. And we are going to perform these steps one by one. Let's begin with the step one. Let's install the Python and configure the Python SDK. This is the official download link. Same link present in the description of this tutorial. You can get it. Please open the Chrome browser or any favorite browser on your system and then visit on this link. You will see this official Python download page. This is a Python website or official Python download website. So everything is genuine here. Go to this section windows and here we have the available Python version is 3.12.1. Okay, simply click on this button to download. File size is not much big, only 25.4 MB in size and this will be downloaded very quickly. Once the downloading is done, you will see this kind of exe. In the download folder simply go there and to the double click to run this executable the very first welcome screen you will see 64 bit python and there are two options first one install now and the second one is customize installation so basically first one is self-sufficient we will go with this option just select and the bottom here we have two options set the python.exe path to our path variable okay select it and then the, you will see this uh, setup in progress message and this progress bar which is showing the installation is in progress this will take 10 to 15 seconds for the complete installation so we have to wait for that okay Finally, we will get this kind of message. Setup was successful. Let's look into uh, these messages. So if you want to learn something, so we have the tutorial links, also the documentation available. So simply you can click at your terminal. You can simply type the Python to launch the Python. Okay, also you can do work through the command prompt as well. Okay, so let me close it. And uh, now, we will follow the step two. This is the important one step. 
So for, we need to verify our installation because we have just finished up the installation. So first we need to check that Python version is properly there or not. Simple, open CMD. And here you have to type simple command py space hyphen hyphen version press enter. Then you will see the installed Python version. That means the, the installation is successful. Great. Now we can proceed further. Go to the search type Python and you will have this Python installed icon. Click on it and then you will have this Python terminal. And we will simply here type some uh, print statement. Then we'll see this is working or not. So this is properly working. If you want to exit, you have to call the exit like we call the function. Okay. And now we are at the step three. In this step three, we are going to install the Python plugin. I will show you which Python plugin we need to install. So we have just launched the IntelliJ IDEA. Go to this, go to this plugin section. In the search box, type Python. And then you will see lots of Python uh, related search results. Right now we are working with the Python community edition. So we will choose the second one. Click on this install button and uh, then installation will start quickly. Then you will see this plugin is installed. Now we are here. So we are going to proceed with the step four. In this step, we will simply create a Python project in the IntelliJ IDEA and then we will configure a Python SDK for this project. Simple. Go back to the same screen, click new project. Here in the new project window, you have to give the name to your project. So I am uh, taking a name like this Python sample. <clears throat> okay. And this is the location for the project where this project is going to be saved. So I'm not changing anything in the language section. You have the Python. So we have just selected when you come to the environment, you will see we have two options, new and existing because we are doing this thing first time. So there is no environment available on our system. That's why this drop down is blank. So we will go with the new. When you click on the new, you will have four kinds of environment. Virtual ENV, Conda, PIP ENV and Poetry. Okay. So this time we have only uh, virtual ENV availability. So we will select this one. And this is the location for the folder. Okay, so see this Python sample is the project folder and we are creating, going to create the virtual environment for that. Okay, and when you come to this drop down base interpreter, this is default selected because uh, previously we have installed one Python interpreter via MSYS64. But in this tutorial session, we have already installed the Python separately. So we will have the second entry Python 3.12 exe. Okay. So we have just selected it and now we are going to select the inherit global site packages option. So, okay. And click on this create button, wait for few seconds and you will see something is in progress on the left hand side, you will see your Python project setup done and you will see some directory structure, some important files under this scripts folder. And then we have the site packages, external libraries. Okay. So this is our uh, Python project structure. Okay. On the right hand side at the bottom, you can see something is in progress. So please wait before going to create and run the program. Let this process finish. Okay. This is completed. Now we are free to proceed. So we have to go to the file menu project structure. Then here you will see the platform settings because we are going to configure the SDK. So when you click on the SDK and we have the option 
to add the additional Python SDK if you have a different version. This time, the Python 3.12 uh, v env which is appearing. So we will set this as a platform level and I am giving the name, the name to differentiate my sample project and then we can apply the settings so we can configure the python sdk uh, at three level this is for the project level if you're doing this project settings platform level and the module level okay so if you want to set up at the project level you can select the sdk this place and here we have the modules setting at module level okay so i have shown you these things click ok that's it now we are here so we have executed step four and five right so configuration for the python sdk is done now in this step six we will simply create a python program and we will run it select the project do the right click go to the new and you will see the option python file and give the name of your choice for the file you want to give so this way the python file will be created now i will write a, a, a basic code let's suppose adding two numbers so i have added code two numbers declared and we are adding here and then going to print it when you see you will have two kinds of warning uh, so here in the bottom we have different tabs so if there's any project error that will be displayed under the project error tab now to run this python program is very easy do the right click go to this option and click and you will see program execution done successfully great on the top you have this run button you can simply select and click and the program will be executed so guys this is the way you can execute your python program here in this intellij idea so guys this is all about setting up the python environment inside the intellij idea and running a simple test program in it i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful so please like to appreciate and please subscribe to learn more and for now thanks for watching cool it help